Right, here we go. So, welcome to Something Saturday. Give me one moment because I'm actually really hoping that I can refresh my page on my computer and find myself doing Something Saturday. Uh, oh, it says I'm live now. Let's see. Oh, oh, goodness, I don't think you need to hear me. Probably don't need to hear me talking there. Oh, apparently somebody is watching me. How the heck do I find out who's watching? Two people are watching me. Oh, um, click to expand. Maybe I need to do that. Ha ha. Hey, Trisha. Morning. Okay. Oh, okay. So I figured I would have a go at um, doing a video this way rather than, you know, the other way. So hi, Kelly. Um, so. So I was going to show you a couple of things. Oh, morning, Liz, Elizabeth. Um, so in my craft room, oh, goodness, I have, I'm just going to turn you around here. So in my craft room, I have bags like this, if you can see it, um, that have just scraps of um, paper in them. And I have like a whole thing -o of them that just again has scraps of paper in it. Hi Grit, hi Lynn. Um, and I just thought I would show you something cool that you can actually do with this. So let's see, let's just attach you onto here. Maybe, maybe it needs to go the other way. Uh oh. Uh, all right, obviously, it's a lot easier when you do this. Um, oh, hello, you're back to me again. <laughs> All right. Okay, and I don't quite get how this all changes. Maybe I need to pull it down that way a bit. So I had it all lined up this morning, and of course now it's not all lined up at all, and... Um, uh, I'm really hoping that everyone can see what's going on there. Let's just move everything slightly further over. Because, of course, this morning it was all over here rather than needing to be over here. <sighs> there you go. Right. So, I thought I could show you how to make some different flowers using just our ordinary, everyday punches. Um... Apparently my video actually has a bit of a lag on it. So there's another punch and another punch. So I've used all those punches just to create these flowers. So just quickly show you. So this one is actually a Christmas punch. It's called Gleaming Ornaments. I'm actually wondering whether it's in the discounted list at the moment. It might be. So there is a um, a sale going on, which is the end of catalogue. Um, like there's a holiday catalogue, um, not called the holiday catalogue anymore. However, anyway, I, I still think of it as a Christmas catalogue. Um, so, so that actually uses that one. And you're just using this part here to attach it all together in the middle. I've used vellum underneath mine. Um, and then I've used a circle in a similar way to what I'm going to show you in a little while. Um, I've also used some of these little sprigs, which is, ta-da, sprig punch. <laughs> Very obvious name. Okay, so that's that one. I thought I would show you how to make this one using dun, 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 the balloon punch, balloon bouquet punch. So... And then I wanted to show you how to make a little thing like this. Um, and I'm not actually going to show you how to make this, but I will explain how to make this. And potentially you could have it sitting on a stick and have it as like a little topiary tree thing. So I, I kind of like it. I think it's so pretty. And hopefully you can see it and I'm not sort of like holding it out of the picture here. All right, so I'm going to move those to one side and we're going to start off with the balloon punch. So I'm kind of confident that most of you can manage to punch shapes with a, um, with a punch. So the stamping up punches have this little... Um, now it's not going to work for me. 
tab that slides backwards and forwards and it means that it will sit flat and then you can have another punch and you see how it's got that round shape there. Well, the round shape corresponds with the next one. So then they can sit on your shelf like that and not move around. And you've got a little picture of what your punch is. So it's kind of cool because it's it's sort of space saving. And, um, and I just like the fact that I can look over at my punches and go, oh yeah, of course the one I want is on the bottom. You know, that's always the way, isn't it? Anyway, so I have gone ahead and punched out some shapes. And there should be five of each. And there's four of those. That's really handy. I wonder what happened to the other one. Okay, let me just find my scraps of that colour. So, hopefully I can find... Mm -hmm. That's not the same colour, it wouldn't be. That is. Excellent. Oh, well, there we go. I'm going to demo how to cut it out now too. So I always hold my punches this way up so you can actually see what's what you're punching. So potentially if you had it this way up and you punched it like that, you'd end up with, you know, half of what you actually want. So let's just punch that out. And we can move those guys along back into the useful boxy area. Let's put that out of the way. Okay, now the other thing you will need is a bone folder so with these particular ones i do it so that goes that way and then you turn it over and so i don't know how to explain this part but basically you're sort of going to run your thumb along like that and then along like that so so you end up with it sort of bit of a sort of S shape in it. All right, then we enter da, 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 the um, silicone mat. Okay, like my silicone mat, it's so useful. And also a bit of Tombow glue. If you're a hot glue fan, you could potentially use hot glue for it. They have soft little hands and they don't like getting really hot. So, you know, I'm just a bit weak and weedy sometimes when it comes to hot things. So just going to add a bit of glue onto there and stick that one down. The nice thing with the Tombow is it gives you a little bit of wiggle room, but it actually sets fairly fast. Oh, oh, and it's just going to roll over, roll over, roll over. So set that one down and then the next one. And so sort of leaving about the right amount of space on the last one. Oh. oh, and apparently getting glue everywhere. Yay. Yay for getting glue everywhere. All right, and the last one. So the last one I kind of slide so that half of it sits under and half of it sits over so that it ends up in the right spot. And as I say, you've got that little bit of wiggle room with it, so I'm um, trying not to get my finger too, um, too glued onto that. So there we go, we've got the bottom part of the flower done now. Then we move to the top part and we just repeat the process. So, One. Yeah, that's not quite stuck yet. Just remembered what I was doing yesterday, or no, I think it was the day before when I did this, was I was actually taking the edge of this and using that to, um, to make sure that it stayed down and then that way I wasn't getting really gluey fingers. Oh, hello, my glue sponge is off. Make sure I'm going to put it in the right place before I hold it down there. And, oh, 
last one I might just add a wee bit of glue up the side there as well actually I might add a wee bit of glue onto there as well just because I know that part's going to be sort of tucking underneath ha 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 famous last words <laughs> All right, this one's not quite going together as well as my original one did. And obviously I'm going to get gluey fingers. Okay, never mind, it's fine. I can live with gluey fingers. They just sort of rub off anyway. I usually just rub my fingers into the palm of my hands and then that just sort of removes the glue. Right, one thing I have remembered that I forgot to get out. Hopefully it's just over there is this kind of really lovely decoration to go on the top. Isn't that nice with those three pearls and yeah, they're just set into that silver background. All right, so that should unattach from there. Now, I was going to use a dimensional just between the two of these just to give it a little bit of uh, dimension. Well, you know, dimensional dimensions. <laughs> Oh, at least I can entertain myself. Hey, hopefully I entertain you guys too. <laughs> if if you're on this morning, do pop in and say hi. Um, and don't forget, if you enjoy this, share it with others. So share the love. And let's just pop that onto there. There we go. All right. So that's the basic flower, but if you note, I have also got a couple of leaves on the back of it. So to get the leaves, we are going to go with a circle. And then you just pop this back into there and on the other side as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I see something's flying around in the atmosphere today. And what I've done with mine is I've actually just folded them in half. So, score them down. And fold in half. Oops. Score it down. And then when you open it up, it has this kind of nice score line going down it, which is leaf-like, I hope. Uh, there we go, right. So then we can just add these leaves onto the back of here. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue onto there. And just hope that that's going to be in the right place. So I always kind of turn down the top of my leaf just a little bit to make it look more leaf-like. Hopefully that looks leaf-like. If it doesn't, then do say. <laughs> I'd kind of be a bit late by the time I actually get your response. But, you know, hey, at least I'll know for next time if it's not leaf-like. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, come on. You can stay in there. Give it a sec. There we go. So there is my first flower produced. Let's just move it off the mat. So it's actually quite simple to create that and it would look really nice on top of a gift. Um, so there you go. One flower. So if you have that balloon punch, give it a go and let me know what you think. So the next one is actually these these little sort of rosebuds so to create the rosebuds you are going to go with a circle so one circle now what I do with mine is I soften up the paper so when you soften up the paper you're actually um, breaking down the fibers that are holding it together so that you can end up with potentially a couple of layers of paper so you can see with this one i've softened it up and it almost looks like a suede on the inside so to do that i'm going to 
take this and you can't you're being fairly rough with the paper not rough enough that it actually tears but um but you really do want to break the fibers down that are in the paper because you want it to be fairly soft and then i actually just do it almost like you're scrubbing your washing Has anyone had a go at this before? Oh, hello. No, I'm being a bit rough, a bit too rough with that one. Uh, okay, never mind. I can make it work. So once you've once you've got it nice and um, loose looking on the edges, you actually just fold it in half and roll it. So roll it up, add a bit of glue, and stick it down. and hold it there we go and the same with this one so i've i've already pre-done these two so um if you want to you can just give it a little bit of a gap at the top as well and that'll give it a bit more dimension so roll it and stick it oh hello Yeah, look at that, I've got a bit of something on my finger there. There we go. As I say, the Tombow really does set quite fast. So it's a really handy glue. Uh, so again, roll it. And stick it. So let's just hold that in place. So we've got two so far, two little rosebuds, three little rosebuds. Okay, so three little rosebuds there. Now, we're going to make some leaves like we did with the last one. So I want three of them. So I've got one, two, and excuse my arm. I only want three and I'm just going to do that. There we go. Three. So again, let's just fold these guys in half. And oh, whoopsie. Score that down. And score this down. You know, I can actually see comments. So if anyone does fancy making a comment, then I might actually be able to see it. I believe there's a bit of a delay in it, but um, sometimes it's easier to actually score it with the... Um, oh, that didn't work at all. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Forget that. Marvellous. Okay. So we should now have, as I say, just curling over that top part there. Um, should now have three petals and we are going to start sticking these little guys together so just want to glue here and let's pop one in so obviously you need to glue two of them together first and then you glue the third one to it and we will just wait a second. I see hot glue, hot glue is actually a lot quicker, obviously. But like I said, I have soft little hands and they get burnt easily. And I don't like getting burnt. It hurts. So the other thing I have done is you'll notice that this one has a little bit of wire at the bottom of it. So all I'm going to do is just take my wire. Eek, fold it over. And... I'm just going to add a little bit of um, tear and tape to this. Let's see if I can persuade Nikes, maybe. Put that one onto there. 
There it is. Oh, anytime soon. Actually, what would be even more sensible is Okay, it doesn't like it because the um, the Tombow is also on there. So I'm just going to stick it in like that so that it actually hoops over top of the tear and tape. Hopefully that's going to work. I didn't do that last night. I kind of shoved it in as an afterthought and, um, and then went, oh, that was silly. Should have done that properly. Okay, so let's let's pop the other one on top. And aren't you guys lucky you get to sort of see this firsthand when I haven't actually made it this way before, so yay! <laughs> uh, let's hope this is fixing. This is looking good. And we have a stick out the side, uh, the back, so that's even better. All right, so now I want to add leaves on. So, in fact, you know what? I'm actually going to put some of the tear and tape around this just to kind of hold it together. Sorry if we went outside of the frame there. I just suddenly thought this might be a good way of making sure that it doesn't fall apart. And then we're going to add a bit of glue on there. Let's make sure we're going to add the right pieces. There's one. You know what? I'm just going to do that because I think it'll be easier to hold on to if I do that. And there's two good up the top there. Actually the other advantage in putting that bit of tear and tape is that it actually does hold it while the glue is setting as well. So then you're going to have a bit of extra strength in there. Oh extra strength! All right so that's how I got that part. Now is anyone wondering how I got the ribbon? because um, I'm wondering whether I should show you how to do the ribbon as well. All right. I'm going to show you anyway, just because I can. So I don't know whether you want to see or not, but you're going you're gonna to find out. <laughs> and if you don't want to see, you don't have to watch. <laughs> but hopefully you do. So uh, where have I put it? There it is. So I need a bit of, so I'm just using the, um, the linen thread here and then I've got a bit of ribbon. Admittedly, this is retired ribbon, but I'm just going to go ahead and give myself three loops of ribbon. Okay, so I've got my three loops of ribbon there. Then going to do a tie in this one and oh, this is where you need your third crafter hand. Sometimes it would be so handy to be able to have that extra hand. I wonder if comments are appearing up the top on this computer. Oh, they're not. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, all right. So we've got the first one. And then we want to add a second one. So, so this is probably, I'm sure there's probably going to be a much easier way of doing this. But I didn't work it out. So this is the way I did it. Uh, Oh, come on, surely I can do a knot. There we go. All right, so the next one just, again, goes into there, pulls tight, 
do a double knot. Ooh. Let's just hope that doesn't fall off there. There we go. It's about a, oh. <laughs> Obviously I pulled a little too hard. Oh dear. Uh, all right. This is not working out quite as well as it did last night. Oh, let's try again. Um, let's let's do that. Maybe it actually would be easier to do it as three separate ones. Don't know. Come on, we can do this one. Oh, seriously. Um, the idea is basically to be able to sort of tie them on. Actually, this is potentially going to be a lot easier if I do it this way. Come on, we can do this. And you're just going to move them into position. And I might go another piece and then Let's, let's just hope this actually works. Oh, okay. I'm sure that um, florists have a really easy way of doing this sort of thing. Um, but I'm not a florist. <laughs> I'm a random card maker. So let's just add this one in as well. So when I... Let's take that and hopefully I have the right piece. Oh, let's just keep going with that. And then, right, to, to finish this piece off, so they're not really quite managing to get where I want them to be. However, to finish it off, if you pop your finger in and then you actually just slide this piece into where your finger is, you can actually then tighten it off and it, it does give you a, um, a knot. So I try and do that a couple of times. So last night I actually did that with the ribbon around the bottom of this and I ended up forming an extra loop with the ribbon as well. Um, but obviously this morning I'm slightly more challenged with it, so that's not going to happen. I might go go round and pop a bit of ribbon on, on over the top of that in a bit. Um, that's that. What else did I do? Oh, I know what else I did. So the other thing I did with it was I grabbed my Wink of Stella and I actually just blinged up the edges of my little rose petal bud things because I just think that looks kind of nice when it's got that teeny tiny bit of glitter on it and hey it's Christmas time so you know you've got to have glitter at Christmas time haven't you so there we go so that's how you would make a little one like that and then let's see if you want it to sit on a table you can just bend that around until you're happy with the way it's going to sit. So got a couple of those now. Let's just move that out of the way. I hope that you could actually see those in there. Oh my goodness, did I go completely off the screen? I'm so sorry folks. Okay. Uh, hmm. This one here, what I did was I put the whole lot onto one of these 
and I just basically started gluing it around like that. So I ended up with a whole layer of those to begin with. Then I built it up and put another layer on top until it ended up as half of it. Then I could turn it over and I could build up round on the other side and make it so that, um, oh, hang on a minute, sorry. Make it so, it, so the whole thing ended up as a ball. However, when you're doing that, if you want to put greenery in, try to remember to put the greenery in as you do, as you build it up. And the other thing to remember is to put in, if you're going with one of these, to put in um, your, your ribbon into it as well rather than as I did sort of trying to squidge it in after I'd made it and going oh I kind of forgot about something to hang it with or potentially if you're going to use a stick in that and have it standing upright as a little topiary tree with a little tiny pot then it would look kind of cute that way too so just just remember that you need to add the extra bits before you um, finish it off um and I reckon that's it for something Saturday today. So I hope it has interested you and um, given you something new to have a go at. Let's move those in. Gee, this is looking a bit untidy, isn't it now? Sorry. Let's just pop those all back into there. Um, as I say, do share and share the love and, um, and I will see you next Saturday with something Saturday again. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, bye.